Oh, can you see this? The shoes. <laughs> the shoes have stopped it from moving. <laughs> it just makes you think this thing has feet. Hey guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to another video. And the first thing you're going to notice is that we are no longer in the shed. I am now pretty much fully moved into uh, my house, like a real house, something that isn't a box at the bottom of my mum's garden. It's um, pretty surreal to be making my first video from here. And I got to say, of course, that this couldn't have happened. There's no chance of happening without all the support you guys have shown me over these last few years. So thank you all so much. Um, also for your patience as well. I know there's not been much sim racing content recently. I've been quite busy with real life stuff. And of course, moving takes a lot of time. But uh, yeah, genuinely, thank you. I never thought I'd get to this point in my life. So uh, yeah, not bad. Huh? <laughs> but anyway, on to today's video. And this video is kind of inspired by my good friend, Stephen. J. Bailey. A long time ago, back when we sort of first met and we, we were first driving together, he used to use a steering wheel that we dubbed the Plastic Fantastic, which was a Cytec wheel with a Xbox controller duct taped to the front for extra buttons. And ever since then, I've been really fascinated with what people drive with, because I know I'm very fortunate and very privileged to be able to drive with some pretty crazy equipment myself, but you definitely don't need this to go racing. Uh, which is sort of half the magic of sim racing. So I thought it would be fun to see what you're driving with. I went onto my Discord, onto Twitter, and basically said, Hi, I'm going to make a roast your rig video. Post your rig if you want me to look at it, want me to talk about it. And I've had just hundreds of responses, which is amazing. Should be a good video, maybe even two, who knows. Just before we get started, though, looking at the cursed rigs you guys have all sent to me. If you do enjoy the video at any point, I'd very much appreciate it. just tapping that like button, hitting subscribe as well, if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. We recently passed 700k subscribers, which is a massive number that my small monkey brain cannot comprehend. So thank you all so much. Uh, here's to the next 100k, I guess. So as you can see, we have the Roast My Rig channel now on my Discord. So we're going to go in there and just see what lovely things await us. Don't look, don't look, don't look at the top. Oh, man. We're starting off strong with the coffin rig. Because this has been around for ages. I have no idea who this belongs to. But if you made this, please get in touch. Because you're like a cult legend in the sim racing community. I think we can call this the Monza T1 rig, this one. Just make, you know, just getting yourself in there ready and comfy for when the inevitable happens. Ah, uh, you see, this is what I'm sort of more used to seeing. The classic wheel and pedal set. What is that wheel? What is that? What is that? Enhance. A genius. And th th those pedals there as well. That 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 is some hissing veld beating pedals right there. They look like um brothers, don't they? I can safely say I've never heard of this wheel before. Second wheel in, and this guy's already won. Oh, now we're talking. I never really understood these play seats. These ones here, the ones that are basically just sort of deck chairs, but they do have the really cool like, the driving position where you sort of lean back. Ah, oh, we've got our first uh, our first VR rig, and they always look so funny to me because it is just seat and wheel and then nothing there in front of you. So I always imagine like the reason why I would always have a monitor there anyway is because one day my mum would walk in and I'd be there being like, yeah, and then just, there's just nothing on the screen. So you look sort of insane. So not really a, a, a good reason, I suppose. Oh man, this desk is kind of chaotic. I kind of want to see what he's got in here. Can we have a little, what's down there? What's this? Oh God, the, the bottles, the bottles in the background, man. Come on, clean your desk, clean it up. This is some gross ass shit. What the hell, what, what's that? Is that like a, is that um, a propeller or something? The VR propeller. You are not a real sim racer unless you have one. This looks like it's very much in someone's living room, doesn't it? Oh, I thought, I thought this was his PC down here. It's just a bag. It's just luggage. <laughs> All your guys' rigs are too nice. Look at this. This looks awesome. Obviously a bit of a drift fan. I've seen this Ferrari go around. That driver doesn't seem to do too well. That's, this is really nice. This is really tidy as well. I, I can't roast this. This is a, a pretty a pretty sexy setup, to be honest. Now, now we're getting into it. I never I never know how people go racing with these chairs. I guess some people put like the stoppers behind them or something because it you're just racing around your living room. Like it's it's the cheapest 
form of motion simulator there is. These little snapshots into people's lives, they're really interesting. Oh. Dude! <laughs> oh, this is awesome, man. This is the budget Formula Racing position. Uh, the ingenuity to do this and make it work. So yoga mat, I guess, to make it not sort of move around too much. Have it nice and low so you can really get into a good position. And I guess this little, like, toolbox here is just to weigh the table down. But I love stuff like this. It's uh, I always love seeing um, how people sort of create these little, um, or solve these little problems, sorry, of uh, trying to get the rig exactly the way they want, but, you know, with limited items to do so. I, I, love, I love seeing the solutions. Sorry, the steering wheel stays mounted during sex. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Strap yourself in, baby. We ain't leaving. I, mean, I think Jess here is showing that you can just have your clothes <laughs> just in the background there. What you got there? Little boxes. <laughs> oh, the classics. I think Kelvin Clatt. Oh, this guy's got this guy's got taste. Absolute taste here. Please don't roast it too much as well. Let's have a look. Hey, this is fine. This is an awesome setup. Look at this shit. I always with these Fanatec rims, these BMW rims. I always thought they were far too wide. It felt like you're fucking driving a lorry whenever you're doing it, especially in a car like a little Skippy here. But uh oh, I can see the Discord. Oh, and he's in the he's in the he's in the Weeb channel. He's in the Weeb and shit posting channel. Of course he is, mate. Of course he is. I see you. Oh man, the flight rig. Man's not even racing. Some people race on these things, man. They haven't got any force feedback or anything. But I've seen people race on these. Um, I guess it's similar to just driving on like a what well, no force feedback wheel. What would you use these for? It'd be great having one of these like as an adjustable turbo on AC or something. You just sort of crank it up and go whoa down the street. So I can only assume this is some sort of VR rig. I don't know why. There has oh I can see your mistake already, mate. The mistake is that you bought Cyberpunk. Are you running this off a laptop? Laptop setup, mate. To be honest though, with the space you have there, you've done really well, I think, getting all that in there. It's just desk, a little bit of room for steering wheel and pedals, and that's it. I think you've really utilised that space really well. Holy shit! It's under the stairs! Harry Potter ass setup right here, man. How long? It's stickers! It's a long stick, man. Hey, what the what the fuck is this? Oh man, this is the best one I've seen yet. This is a hundred percent the best one I've seen yet. Imagine going into the, the pet store, right, and then carrying out this fucking cat play thing. Oh, what, what cat do you have? Oh, uh, it's a Logitech breed. <laughs> and the thing is, it works because it bends at the top so you can get the right dry. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. 10 out of 10. Whoa. Boom. Hello, cutie. Hello. Oh, is this guy rocking? He's rocking the 4 by 3s Oh, what an absolute chad. What an absolute king. Dude, this rig's awesome. You've got what looks like to be a homemade shifter, or two times homemade shifter, and just a ton of 3D printing too, man. That is a uh... oh, and oh, I need one of these for my rig, man. I need, I need a drink holder. Get my can of Stella in there after a long ride. <sighs> so this is mostly DIY, this one. He says, so feel free to roast it. Oh man, the wooden rig. This much, this much, just creak so much one creaky boy i love this button box though this is really nice really cool and i guess you got your sound and stuff down there as well this looks all right man for something that's homemade it looks pretty damn sweet i actually like this wheel um, i'm always a bit skeptical about cutting up or sort of changing uh wheels like that but it looks all right it looks decent I think you've done pretty well here man it's always nice seeing someone make the most of sort of what they have and really maximizing it this, this looks rad this would be really fun i think to, to jump in and do stuff with Oh, this guy has the same trainers as me. I've got a pair of those. That's always nice. Oh, can you see this? The shoes... <laughs> the shoes have stopped it from moving. It just makes you think this thing has feet. There's <laughs> little shoes in each corner. Oh, man, little cars. I see a bit of a McLaren fan, Lamborghini. I see no McLaren's in there, is there? There's one at the end there. Audi, Bentley. See, a lot of people, right, they'll, they'll post this sort of rig and they'll say, oh, it's not much, but... Like, and honestly, I know the, the title of this video is like, Roast My Rig, or whatever, right? whatever the hell I ended up calling it, but... If you have this, and you're comfy with it, and you feel quick with it, then more power to you, man. You haven't got to have something like this to be quick and be fast. 
all you've got to do is give you the sensation that you're driving something. Even if it's for a second, then it's done its job. And this is more than capable of doing that, 100%. What the hell is this? This guy's sleeping. This guy's having a nap. What's his driving position, man? So I'm probably going to end this video here because I've been recording already for like 45 minutes of going through these. But to give you an idea of just how many there are, um, that is from about half nine to about uh, quarter past ten in the morning. And they are still coming in now and it is five in the afternoon. So we've got a lot to go through. So looking forward to going through a few more. I've got Twitter to go through as well. But I think for now... We'll leave this one here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, going through some of the rigs and seeing uh, what people are driving at home. If you're interested in this sort of content, I know it's a bit different, feel free to tap that like button, subscribe too, and let me know in the comments what we can do better or what else you want to see. But uh, take care, have an awesome day. I'll see you all next time. Just before, uh, just before we get, just before we, just. Uh, blah, 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 bl